boys feeling right now, though, about Saturday's game, Ram? Are you, are you confident? Are you concerned? Um, I wouldn't. It's, it's, it's a difficult one because obviously you have to have a little bit of respect, even though I have very minimal respect of Arsenal. You've got to have a little bit because they're they're top of the league. They've got a really good team. Um, but it's at Anfield and they've got a little bit of a hoodoo at Anfield. Like they haven't won there in almost a decade, I think. No, they haven't won there in a decade. Um, and we've got a better, we've got a better team as well. So it just depends on which Liverpool turns up. If the one at United turns up, then it's going to be a long day. If it's the one that turned out tonight or the you know, <laughs> Liverpool that I know, it'll be a very good game. And hopefully it'll be this one. How about yourself, Sam? Because Arsenal fans have got, you know, they're very, very confident as of right now. Um, well, how do you see the game going? I'm quite confident right now um, against Arsenal. Um, I feel like against better teams, we play well. Like even like the first half against Tottenham, before we had um, our, our men sent off, we were actually, we let Tottenham have the ball, but we were hitting them on, on, on the break and in transitions. And we were getting a lot of joy. And I was saying that, obviously, we said if, if we had 11 or 10 men, we, we believe we could have beaten Tottenham. So against Arsenal, I, I still have and it's at Anfield. All I'm just praying is that the Anfield crowd, please do not be diabolical like you were against Man United. Actually make it a cauldron. Yeah. Oh, also, one more thing. Ram, I want to ask you this. What would you say about Nunes left wing, Diaz up front? No. No. I'm sorry, no. I don't want to see that. No offence, I really don't want to see that. I'd rather have Gakpo Are you sure? Because Diaz hasn't been... Mm. I don't want... I'd rather have Gakpo in the middle than... Do you want to hear? I've got a theory for Liverpool. I've got a theory for Liverpool. It might not happen because I have other teams involved. My theory is this. Sell Gakpo, move Darwin out to the left and sign Ivan Tony. <laughs> or, if you, or, or Diaz. Diaz or Gakpo, sell either one. Darwin move out because I don't think he's a number nine and bring in Ivan Tony. I don't know about that one, yeah. No, <laughs> I'm not. Why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? Like, no, I, I rate Tony. I, I, I rate Tony. I rate Tony. Ivan, Ivan Tony's better than all of them. Yeah. As, if, as if, yeah. yeah. But yeah. I'd, rather, I'd rather sell Nunez or get Tony. Oh, so you'd rather not keep... Okay, so it's not so much Tony. It's you. You still rather get rid of Darwin, keep Gakpo and, and Diaz. Okay, because one thing Gakpo and Diaz has is versatility. Like Gakpo could play anywhere across the front line. Diaz can play on both wings. Like that's that's the one thing. Fair I think point. Nunes is quite limited to that middle spot. Um, and obviously Tony's Tony in it. Um, so yeah, that's that's how I see it in my opinion. You still got faith in Gakpo, then, boys. On the hundred percent, when you when you got quality like that, yeah, he's got quality. With, yeah, especially with even the goal that he scored today, he he's done that a couple of times in his Liverpool career so far, and it's kind of like you kind of have a little a lot more grace for a player like Gakpo than any other player. Mm. And I think also it's just when when we were doing well last season, he was when he was in that middle spot, he was very very good. Like he's shown a lot. Um, and I think he's a lot more reliable than Darwin Nunes, in my opinion. Um, uh, Sarim here is a Liverpool fan. So it's a tie. D uh, Diaz, Gakpo and Nunes are useless. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, what do you guys... Is it, it was interesting to listen to the commentators tonight. Online fans. When I say online fans, you're real Liverpool fans, but fans maybe that are not on the ground. Very, very upset with, with, with Nunes. Very upset with Gakpo. But the commentators were making it sound like every Liverpool fan and his dog is a hundred percent behind them and has not almost doesn't have a bad word to say about them. And I felt that was a little bit. I know the state, a lot of fans in the grounds will always cheer players on because they want them to perform. And it's always you generally get a better performance from cheering people on than you do booing them. But are Liverpool fans, in your view, as behind them as Jamie Carragher and Sky Sports made out tonight? No. No, certain players, no. Certain players like Nunez, I think there's a very loud, a very loud uh, group of fans that are done with him, like fully done with him. Um, and I think with Diaz, there's still certain people that are starting to turn on him with the fact that he just doesn't get enough GA. And, I, and it's not they're not used to it. We're, like, we're not used to it. We had Sadio Mane who was getting GA at his best. Um, and Diaz is just not offering that. And even then, the bare minimum that he does, which is take on 
players and, and dribble past plays. He doesn't even do that as well. So there is a and obviously Gakpo, people have a go at him when he does start to ghost in games, which he has a tendency to do. So I would say at the ground where people are there, they'll obviously support him and make sure they do well. But um, in terms of overall fan base, certain people are done with certain players. That's past. I feel like from. after the United game, I feel mm. like there's a lot of people that are done with newness. I can't lie to you. There's a, <laughs> there was a lot of people that were done with, especially when um, I, I highlighted it, when um, Nunes was through, um, Diaz took the shot. And he, he um, complained for a penalty instead. Of, yeah. yeah, exactly. So um, I, I think with that, it's not like the level. I, I've said this before. The Liverpool fan base, we give a lot of grace to our players. So I feel like we were really behind you. Like we really wanted Nunes to do well. But there's some things that is kind of like now, ah, Nunes. I'm, I, I've given up on you now. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Uh, this, this is an interesting comment. It says Gakpo is Bobby Firmino 2.0. No, he's not. No, uh, Curran says, name any striker doing good in the Prem right now. Uh, Harlan. Solanke. Uh, Harlan. Solanke. Solanke. Watkins. <laughs> Watkins is doing good. Yeah, Watkins. Um, I would have said in Buemo, but he's not really, not really a striker like that, but he's a bit of a push in Buemo. Uh, oh, yeah, I, I mean, I would have said that. You can say Son. I mean, Son's been playing as a number nine for the majority of the season. Yeah, maybe uh, Huang has done well at Wolves as an exa- as an example. Isak yeah, has done well this season. Yeah. yeah. What about Jackson? Oh, who's the? Yeah, I'm joking. Who's the? I want you. Um, I want you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, 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 he started off well. very well. Yeah, as in like there have been players that have performed. I think I think the comments trying to allude that there's not been that many great strikers coming through. Uh, I mean, not playing well this season, um, but there have been some strikers that's done well. I'm just saying. In the Champions League, uh, Hoyle. <laughs> it's Prem, isn't it? We're not in about the Prem, prem. Though. Not in the Prem. Not in the Prem. In the Prem, it's been uh, it's been horrendous. It's been horrendous. And at Wolves, by the way, he said he just checked and t- he said Terry was right. Thank you, but I, I already told you I was right. I, I wouldn't say it. I, I knew it was true, uh, but thanks for checking and saying. Uh, do. They think Trent should play it right back against Arsenal with Martinelli running down the left. It, do you see, are you looking? I think this is alluding to should you move Trent out of the right back role because he can't handle Martinelli? No, I'll play him in a double pivot to unlock him even further. There's nothing to do with Martinelli. It's just Trent is too good of a footballer and we want to see him more up the pitch and we want to see him doing his thing. A bit like mm. what uh, Bayern did with Kimmich because it's so easy because. Kimmich did the exact same thing. He was at right back. He's very good at right back, world class at right back. But everyone knew his passing ability in the midfield. Everyone knew that he would do well in the midfield. And they put him there and it worked out well. We just want to see the same. We want to see what it, if it works. And if it works, it will be a problem for everyone else, man. Mm. It really will be. I just, I just think um, Gomez at right back, even though I have praised Trent because defensively he has um, in, um, improved this season. But it's like what I see from Gomez at right back is that he unlocks a lot of people that they because he's defensively more stable, he can actually let out allow other people to play. So Shabozla is gonna play. Um Trent can go into the midfield and mm. actually play a double pivot with Curtis Jones, and we 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 will be a lot more fluid with that. Yeah, no, that, but listen, I, I think it makes sense. It's um Maybe not the right time to like move him into in, in such a big game as well. But equally, that could throw Arsenal. Sometimes I know sometimes managers make those like galaxy brain moves in games, and it can cost you. But sometimes it helps. Sometimes it helps you because people are not expecting. I remember a time where Man United threw the De Silva twins into midfield against Arsenal, and it was looked at as absolute suicide. And I think it threw Arsenal, and we beat them, and we and we beat them. I would say fairly convincingly as well. So yeah, the, these things are, are all very, very interesting to look at. Indeed, viewers, let us know what you think mm-hmm. and what you feel as well. Um, th- this here from Serene, one of our members, was it gone? Well, look at that! Look at that! Sorry, this one here from the, the Kloppenheimer. Sixty-three shots from Liverpool in the past two games. That's crazy, isn't it? Yeah, crazy. and it's a shame that we've only scored five goals, and all them five goals is in one game. Like, 
Well, no, I like I like that. I like that. Sarim says uh, Joe Gomez at right back, Trent in midfield, Endo and Soboslai for me. Well, what, what do you? I mean, last couple of games, I've actually thought en, Endo has done all right. I feel he's done all right against United and tonight. Or, or am I? Or am I not? Am I judging him as a as a non Liverpool fan, and I'm not seeing the little issues or the bigger uh, he's, issues? Maybe? He's he is what you, you get. What from, you get? What you get from Endo? Like he's a steady Eddie. He's like he, I feel as though. Because Curtis Jones is is he's, he's more of a he's more of a sacrificial lamb and he's played with these guys a lot longer and knows their strengths and it's obviously played in a double pivot before with um uh for England um I'm, uh, bear, bear in mind he's under twenty ones um he would be the best partner for um for Trent because he can do that sacrificial role that that allows Trent to go forward like the way he does mm. that's how I see it. Yeah, I, I think with Endo, that. like, I, no, I was gonna say uh, just quick. Okay. Uh, I think with Endo, especially um, for the United game, I always said this: our defense or like our midfield defending was never the problem in the game. I know um, Man United had chances, but they were bound to have chances in the game if they were gonna play. Boys, 